But for the moment, I'm not gonna do that. What I'm simply gonna do is connect to my Cisco router and I'm gonna see if I can back up a configuration to the TFTP server. So at the moment, if I go to TFTP boot, which is in the root directory, Alice shows me that no files are found on the toolbox server. But on the router, I'm gonna no shut gigabit 000 and configure the router to get an IP address through DHCP. I'll configure the host name of the router as router one. And hopefully what should happen is we should get an IP address and then I'll be able to back up the router configuration to the TFTP server. So I've been allocated an IP address. Can we ping the server? Yes, we can. So copy running configuration TFTP 192.168.122.43. We'll use that name as the destination file name. And notice I've been able to copy my running configuration to the TFTP server. Let's use more here. So more r1 hyphen config. There's the router configuration that I've just uploaded to the TFTP server. So it's as simple as that to back up configurations in your GNS3 topologies. So let's do a copy startup config TFTP 192.168.122.43. Let's call this R1 start. That's been successfully copied. Alice shows us that we've got two files now. So more R1 start. There's the startup configuration of the router. Show that again. So again, there's our startup configuration backed up to the TFTP server. Let's enable syslog. So logging host 192.168.122.43. This message and this message should be logged to the syslog server. Again, syslog and SNMP traps are available in var log syslog. So cd var cd log cd syslog and I should rather say more syslog. There's our syslog messages. And I'll use cat in this example to go right to the end. Notice uh, there are our logging messages. So again, if I create a loopback interface on this router and look at the syslog messages, notice uh, that interface came up. I'll shut the interface down on the router. Look at uh, the log messages. Uh, there we can see uh, that the interface went down. Timestamps have been enabled and the time is set correctly on the syslog messages. So it was as simple as that to get routers to log messages to a syslog server. Let's try FTP. So CD root, I'll go to the root directory. Alice DRR shows us that no files are found in that directory. So copy running config FTP. Now this is gonna fail, but I want you to see the process. Again, server's IP address is this. I've copied it to the correct server, but we're getting incorrect login and password. So in global configuration mode, use the command IP FTP username root IP FTP password GNS3. Let's try again. So copy running config FTP 192.168.122.43. We'll use the default file name. Notice we told that the configuration has been copied to the FTP server. Alice shows us the configuration in the root directory. This is different to TFTP. 
the file was copied here using FTP, not TFTP. So more R1 config. There's the router's configuration. So as an example, I'll create a loopback 123 IP address 123.1.1.1. Let's copy the running config to the FTP server again. And let's call this R1.123 config on the FTP server. LS shows us we now have that file more r1 one two three config scrolling through the configuration notice there's the loopback interface that we just configured on the router so this is a great a little appliance that gives you a lot of functionality which you can leverage in your gns3 topologies it has once again a web server it has an ftp server TFTP server, a DHCP server, syslog server, and SNMP trap receiver. I'm really grateful to Andrush for creating this appliance. It really makes my life as a network engineer working with GNS3 topologies so much easier. I don't need to download additional software to get a TFTP server or FTP server or web server. These are very lightweight appliances. So again, I can simply add another web server to my topology by dragging the toolbox appliance into my GNS3 topologies. And I can either edit the configuration directly on the appliance in this way, or by doing it within the appliance if that method fails. When I start up this appliance, I immediately get a FTP TFTP, syslog, web server, and other services out of the box. So this is the IP address of the new server on my Firefox client. If I browse to that IP address, notice a web page displays. Please join me in thanking Andrush for creating this appliance. Send him some messages on Twitter or on this video. And remember that it's because of the contributions of GNS3 community members, such as Andrush, that we all benefit from the use of GNS3. So why don't you also get involved and help other community members by answering questions in the GNS3 community and helping others make use of the GNS3 software?